What's up my toes? It's Jonathan. It's day number three in May for Foot Health Month. So today's video is going to be a real life application of what happens when you don't wear proper footwear. Yesterday's video, which by the way I'm filming today, was discussing the importance of proper footwear. Proper footwear is huge. With the right footwear, you're going to eliminate, I would say, 75 to 80% of all your problems. Today's case is of a woman who's been wearing a shoe that's a little bit too narrow, too tight for her. She has claw toes. And what happens when you have claw toes, they don't sit flat in the shoe. They become raised. And because they're raised, they hit the top of the shoe more. And that constant pressure from that tight fitting or shallow toe box uh, will cause hard skin to grow. Because there's no room for the hard skin to really grow above, what happens, it kind of grows into the body, forming some sort of corn, a callus, and potentially a wound, which happened in today's case. So today we're gonna see, again, real life application. What happens when you wear shoes that might be a little bit too narrow, too tight, and too shallow? You have to wear the right shoes for your foot type. One last thing for you toes out there. I'm doing a seminar in Toronto, Canada, June 9th. I'm only right now having 40 spots available. If you're curious about learning more about foot health, how to provide better service for your clients, whether you're a foot care nurse, pedicurist, nail technician, I'm here to help. I wanna educate you guys. I wanna up your skills so you guys can provide better services for your clients. Go to my website, www.thetobro.com. It's a product for the seminar. Purchase that and you're good to go. Hope you guys are enjoying Foot Health Month. Tobro out. Where's she gonna put on the shoes? You like to. <laughs> you like the uh, fashion. <laughs> and you're a when very, you're, you're a very fashionable woman. You're an when elegant you're, woman. When you're young, you know, it's different. No, don't give me that. No, you're no more shoes. No, like but you still look good. I give everything away. But you still look good. You're still a beautiful woman. So yeah. you're a tough, strong woman. So you've been helping your husband a lot. So I'm gonna help you. So what we're gonna do? We take as much dead skin as we can. Like I told you, I think there's a wound underneath. Yeah. I give you the antibiotic cream. We get all the pressure off of it. We yeah. have to get the, the shoes off. But and when I go out. Yes, when you go out it's different, but you have to try to. Some... I hold my okay. shoe. Well, now that it becomes better weather, if you can wear open toe, oh, yeah. I, much I better. Sandals in case. Okay. So I want you just to relax. I know you're nervous, but we're just removing dead skin. If something's too sore, you let me know, okay? <laughs> I like to go to the dentist either too, but I have to go to the dentist again. Oh. I don't want to see. Don't want to see? Okay. No. See, my husband, I had a problem last night, just in bed, before he goes down, lay down in bed. He's bleeding by his nose. Oh. Because it takes comedy for his heart. Yes. And the blood must be too thin. And uh, before lunch, he start bleeding again. He's on the car. I bring him with me. He's in the car now? He's in the car. Is he okay there? I guess so. I bring the, a bucket. I put a paper towels. I put ox, uh, peroxide, cotton for him if he's bleeding to put it on. Okay. And the, the good thing this won't take too long. No, it's dead. It's dead. It's, it's dead. Is, is it hurting? No. And now you're watching. <laughs> you're watching. I don't like see surgeries or things like that. Well, good thing. Well, good thing this is no surgery. My my husband he loves to see everything. I don't. Well, you should have brought him in. We could he could be no, helping me. I can hardly walk. I oh. can have to come by walker with a walker. So your doctor referred you here right away. Yeah. He said, oh, you can walk like that. I have a problem with that foot, too. I have arthritis. Yeah, so what you have here, we call this a claw toe. A what? A claw toe. Oh, and I that's thought, it's like I a thought it was a hammer toe. Hammer toe, claw toe, they're very similar. Yeah. Yes, both are. You can use both terms. So the hammer toe is making the the top of the toe hit the shoe, yeah. and all that pressure oh, I is. I have problems when I buy shoes. Very yes, I know. I have a brand new pair of shoes. I bought it when I try. It was okay. Now no way I can put it. But on. I'll, I'll tell you this, Marie. You looking so good. You don't don't worry about the shoes. <laughs> Wear a shoe that's comfortable. You're a beautiful one. You don't have to worry about the the I footwear. Yeah. You wear a shoe that feels comfortable. If you do not remove the pressure from the shoes, I know. this will keep coming back. Yeah. 
So like I told you, I, I knew there's a little hole here. It is. But it's not too bad not at all. Bad. No. Because I've been put a lot of, uh, uh, what do you call it, to take the pain away and the infection creams. Okay. Things. No corn pads. None of that. This is what's happened. I, I don't put a corn pad. I put a, just a, a clear pad yes. Yes. A, for a cushion. Okay. And the came's black. And I don't put a nothing to No, so what the corn. what the black was was because the dry blood. Make a, have a medication makes a hole and I don't want that on my foot. No, so that corn that black was dry blood. Yeah. Maybe from me to scratch. It. N from scratching or from too much pressure. So what's going to happen? I'm going to take a little bit more, but this is pretty much a little sensitive. Or you okay? Yes, okay. Okay, we're almost done. Okay. So this is pretty much all we have to do. We I'm add my face away. Don't don't worry. So the the wound isn't deep. It's very superficial. Very shallow. Yeah. Yes. In a couple weeks, this will be fully closed. Okay. We're going to use an antibiotic cream. Yeah. We come back in 3 weeks. I'll come back. Yeah, just to make sure it's healing up. Uh, it's so expensive here. No, no, we're just gonna take a look. We're just gonna take a look. I know. See, I'm a retired man. I know. I know you're tired. I know you're diabetic. But what we're gonna do? I'm not gonna charge you. We're just gonna take a quick look. Okay. And if it's healed, you're okay. You okay? Yeah, that is a nice knife. It is a very nice knife. Very gentle. Yeah. Cuts well too. <laughs> That's what we want. Yeah. Okay. I even put the seams on the socks. I put everything outside. I don't want to go to my feet. Of course, that's very smart of you. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just wiping down this. I'm old, but I tried to get... <laughs> so, see this? Yes. yes I'm going to take a little bit more, but basically that's it. Yeah. You see how much better it looks? It's not so yeah. deep. We use the antibiotic cream, we take the pressure off, and in a couple of weeks, this will be fully healed. But you have to remove the pressure. Yeah, I and, will. Okay. I never wear it. Just, We're good. I have to wear this. I know. But there was no pain today, right? No. Look how easy that was. Yeah. Okay. So you just.